Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel. In today's simple inexpensive project, we'll be mounting USB powered multicolor LED light strips. All right, let's get started. So here's the car atmosphere light. Uh, this is the box, obviously it's made in China. Inside the box you'll find this minuscule little USB to 12 volt plug power cable. You'll see these mounting strips, which are pretty much useless, especially in uh, any kind of cold weather. So we'll just set those aside. And with this kit, you have the option to either use the supplied remote control. You'll need a battery for that. And that mounts in this little tray right here. Uh, given that that won't stand the minus 30 temperatures we're undoubtedly going to experience not going to use that this kit also came with the option to download a controller app you can find that on the apple app store uh, just take a shot of that qr code and it'll take you right to the app download page as you can see, there's four of these LED bars. They're just like a PVC plastic, ABS plastic maybe. Uh, there's 12 LEDs in each six and a half inch strip. They're about a half inch wide. Uh, you've got two with cords that are three foot eight. And you've got two of these with cords that are five foot three. To mount these, you'll need or these PVC 5/16 shelf edging. You can pick those up at pretty much any hardware store. Uh, here in Winnipeg, they were, I think it was about five bucks for an eight foot strip. Uh, you'll need eight of these two-sided Velcro strips. I bought a roll from monoprice.com pretty cheap stuff uh, and you can mount them a variety of ways I've tried this two-sided scotch mount extreme tape uh, it's about 12 bucks a roll here so it's not cheap and it poses some problems uh, I opted to use I tried it we'll see how it holds up but I opted just to use some hot glue and that seems to really hold tight so that's what I'm gonna do here all right so let's get started let's take one of these Give me two of these some time. I'll put it about an inch from the end. Just a little dab. And stick that on. Try to keep it reasonably straight. I like to string out as much of this glue as possible because that just makes things fun. hot so it will in fact make these uh, strips pretty flexible so we'll just put a copious amount on there press that in place and try to keep it somewhat straight
And the problem with the tape is that you need two layers. So what I did was cut this one inch strip in half lengthwise. I put a strip down. I put my Velcro strips on and then I put another layer and filled in the gaps between the Velcro strips. Then I put my PVC shelf edging on. And it works, looks fine, but uh, this is definitely faster and much cheaper. And I think, uh, I think the hold will be much better. All right, let's do another one real quick. things I think is important to mention here is that these cables lack any sort of strain relief. They've applied a little bit of glue here right at the end inside but uh, it's woefully inadequate. So to rectify that just take our thumbnail slide it along the edge here and you can see those tabs. Open right up. There we go. Take that off. Set that to one side. And here you can see that it is possible to daisy chain these things if you have the correct light bars or an additional set of light bars. But for now, we'll just do this. Apply a dab at this end. Same thing here. And I'll just pop this right back on. tabs are in properly. We'll just wipe off any excess while it's soft. Hold that until it cools and I think we'll be fine. With that done, we'll move to the controller box and here again, I've loosened this so it's a lot easier to get out but you can just pry it out with your fingernails carefully. That'll open. You'll see there's no strain relief built in here anywhere. So what you'll want to do is take these wires out, tie an overhand knot in each one as close to the end as you can, and then pump some glue in there. Okay, so here we are inside the shelter. We've got the light strips mounted. Cord twisted around the roof rod. I've got the two longest leads going out farthest from the controller and then the two shorter ones the closest corners again here's the controller from there we go to the power cable down to a six foot extension and the power box so let's just turn that on Now we'll just turn this light off. And as you can see, those lights are working. It's a very nice ambient light. I'll fire up the app. As you can see here, you've got your color wheel and you've got preset colors. So yellow, white, cyan, red, green, blue and you can adjust them to any tone that you like. I kind of like this red. There you go. And you can adjust the brightness as well. There you go. Crank them up. And there's the on off switch. Okay. That's pretty much it, guys. You can pick up a kit like this on AliExpress for between $15 and $20. You can also find them on Amazon for between $20 and $30. Make sure you get free shipping.